क्लास सेवन्थ योर न्यू टॉपिक इज मेजरमेंट ऑफ एरिया ऑफ अ रेगुलर ऑब्जेक्ट सो फॉर रेगुलर ऑब्जेक्ट देर आर सम बेसिक फॉर्मूलाज फॉर यू दे गेव यू द फॉर्मूला ऑफ एरिया ऑफ स्क्वायर साइड इन टू साइड एरिया ऑफ रेक्टेंगल एल एन टू बी लेंथ इन टू ब्रेथ एरिया ऑफ सर्कल दिस इज यूर सर्कल दिस इज यूर रेडियस इन मैथ्स यू ऑलरेडी नो दिस पाई इन टू आर स्क्वायर पाई आर स्क्वायर दिस इज यूर सिलेंडर this is your height this is your radius of in the cylinder both the sides there is a circle so this is your radius this is also your radius and this is your height so the area of cylinder is 2 pi r h and the area of square is 4 pi r square learn this okay don't forget just remember these formulas now new topic is density so the definition of density is the density of a substance is defined as the mass of a unit volume class it's very very important unit volume it means in a specific volume whatever mass you have that is your density so remember this density is equal to mass upon volume and d is equal to m upon v here you can see class in gas liquid and solid all these three boxes have a same volume and if they have a same volume it means their volume is unit same but in these boxes you can see in solid the number of smileys are more in liquid it is lesser than solids and in gases the number of smileys are very less so class boxes remain same volume but the number of smileys are more so if the number of smileys are more so it means the weight of the box is more hope you understand if mass is more then automatically the gravitational pull of the earth is more it means the weight is more so in this time i use the word mass and if i use the word weight then you can easily understand i am talking about the gravitational pull of that particular mass by the earth so class mass is different in all these three volume now class if i am talking about solid in solid the mass is very very high because the number of smileys are more so it means mass is more so your volume is one but your mass is very high if i am talking about liquid or i am talking about gases you can see in liquid your volume is same like solid but your mass is lesser than solid it means in this time your m upon v is less than solid if i am talking it means in this time your m upon v is less than solid if i am talking about liquid then you understand that if i am talking about solid you understand that but now if i am talking about gases you can see the number of smileys are very less it means the mass is very less in gases it means their weight is also very less so m upon v here is very very less than liquid yes or no so hope you understand the same volume is there but the mass remain change the mass is change time to time that's why their density is change so you can easily understand now in solid the density is very high because d is equal to m upon v and here v is same for all these three and volume now class to understand density you have to understand first mass and then volume but it's very important mass per unit 
volume it means it's very very important per unit volume means i give you the example if i want to take the example of this box so class understand this this is the very very important topic otherwise you can't understand this what is the volume of this box length breadth and this is height so there is some volume so if there is some volume then class this box is empty in this time so if i want to fill this box by cotton understand i want to fill this box by cotton so what do you think what is the weight of this box okay class first i fill this box by cotton then after that i fill this box by rice okay in number 3 i fill this box by iron okay so what do you think box is same it means volume is same volume is same hope you understand volume of this box is same but when i fill this box by cotton then weight is suppose i give you the example weight is suppose 1 kg but when i fill this box by rice then the weight is remain same 1 kg or is it change hope you understand it's definitely change suppose it is 3 kg but fill this box by iron then the weight is 10 kg yes or no but you can see volume remain same so volume is same but according to your material your weight changed so why your weight change why your weight change then this is defined by density it means your weight is change because of the density it means the density of iron is much more than rice and the density of rice is much more than cotton so what do you understand by this it means your matter contain a different different density yes or no and this density you can calculate by mass per volume it means whatever mass you have according whatever mass you have in a particular unit volume then that is your density it means if i am talking about mass upon volume so class understand mass is defined by kg volume is defined by meter q class it means d is equal to your density depends on mass yes or no that's why the density of iron is much more than rice and the density of rice is much more than cotton so if i am talking about d is equal to m upon v it means your volume remains same volume is same suppose your volume is i just take the example your volume is suppose 10 meter cube the volume of this box is 10 meter cube so what is the density of cotton m upon v m means mass class in this time i can use the word here weight also weight upon volume okay so weight upon volume means what is the weight of cotton so i told you earlier the weight of the cotton is 1 kg and the volume is 10 meter cube it means 0.1 kg meter cube okay i am talking about rice the weight of the rice is 3 kg yes or no 3 kg okay the weight of the rice is 3 kg and the volume is this so 3 upon 10 kg meter cube it means 0.3 kg meter cube and if i am talking about iron then d is equal to m upon v it means m is 10 v is 10 kg upon meter cube 1 kg meter cube so what do you think this is the density of iron which is more than 
rice and the density of rice 1 kilogram meter cube is greater than 0 0.3 kilogram meter cube is greater than 0 0.1 kilogram meter cube. So, what do you understand by this? It means according to your material according to your matter your density changed. So, class now they give you here example there is a weight 1 kilogram iron and there is a sugar. So, class you can easily understand the density of this weight both are equal to 1 kg the weight is remain same, but what do you think whose density is more weight is same, but volume is very very less here. So, if volume is very less here then d is equal to m upon v, v is very very less here. So, if v is very less here then automatically the matter is more matter contain more density here. So, I uh, so iron contain more density here. Again I am talking about iron and aluminum same bricks are here, but the density of iron is much more than the density of aluminum. Hope you understand d is equal to m upon v. v remains same, but the m matter is different that is why iron contain a more weight here. Aluminum and glass same bricks are here, but aluminum has more weight just because of density. Again glass and wood is also there and milk and water is there same glass is there, but the milk and glass contain the same amount of liquid, but the milk contain more density because it contain more mass. So, iron contain more density here. Again I am talking about iron and aluminum same bricks are here, but the density of iron is much more than the density of aluminum. Hope you understand d is equal to m upon v, v remains same, but the m matter is different that is why iron contain a more weight here. Aluminum and glass same bricks are here, but aluminum has more weight. Again glass and wood is also there and milk and water is there same glass is there, but the milk and glass contain the same amount of liquid, but the milk contain more density because it contain more 